Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome back to Kotak Security's weekly fundamental podcast. I am your host Rini Mehta, here to decode the world of finance and bring you the latest market insights in the simplest way possible. Did you know that Mankind Pharma just made a huge acquisition? The market hit new all-time highs and the latest union budget had some surprising tweaks. Plus, how does Indian market's performance stack up against global markets right now stick around to find out all right let's dive into today's main topic the nifty and sensex both gained around 0.5% last week reaching new all time highs while the large caps were steady the mid cap index jumped by about 2.9% and small cap index surged by 3.7% clearly outperforming their larger counterparts So if you've got some uh, mid cap or small cap stocks in your portfolio you might have no- noticed a nice little bump sector wise it was a mixed bag and uh, in amidst of all this foreign portfolio investors were net buyers while domestic institutional investors were net sellers on the global front there's been some interesting action as well the us economy uh, grew at an annualized rate of 2.8% in the second quarter which was faster than expected this was thanks to increased uh, consumer spending and business investments with inflation pressures easing there's a good chance of an interest rate cut by the fed federal reserve in september so basically if the economy is growing and inflation is under control the fed might lower interest rates to keep that growth going strong and if you look at china the government surprised everyone with an unscheduled lending operation at much lower rates hinting at more monetary stimulus to boost the economy now let's talk uh, stocks and uh, result updates first up is hindustan unilever the powerhouse in indian consumer goods with its dominance across many categories and reach to over 700 million consumers How does HUL manage to stay on top? Share your guesses in the chat box. Well, they reported a 4% increase in volume growth and 2% uptick in sales growth in the first quarter, beating our estimates. This growth was driven by their home care and personal care segments. The management is also optimistic about a gradual improvement in FMCG and rural demand in the second half of FY25. So we have revised our target price to two thousand eight fifty, valuing it at fifty two times the expected earnings for September twenty twenty six. And now our pick of the week is Federal Bank. This stock is currently priced at two hundred and one, with our target uh, currently being two twenty five. Federal Bank reported an 18% year on year growth in earnings driven by a 15% increase in operating profit their net interest margin remained stable at 3.2% with a strong recovery in net interest income growth so think of nim or net interest margin as the bank's profit margin on loans the bank's asset quality is impressive and with a new ceo at the helm we expect a smooth transition and continued stable performance That's it for today's episode. I hope you found this insightful. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your friends. Until next time, this is Rini Mehta signing off. Happy investing. And remember, stay curious and keep questioning.